Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, as the title suggests, is the place to go to see exotic, low production, rare, high performance muscle cars. And I'm a giant Buick fan, and I'm here with Jeff from Level One Restorations, standing in front of a blue 70 GS Stage One car that is just stunning. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about the overall look of this thing, because it, it looks different than most GS Buicks. Uh, I assume you're talking about the wheel covers. <laughs> well, that and the whole thing. I mean, but yes, the wheel covers. Uh, the wheel covers apparently are causing quite a stir. Um, I don't quite understand why, because they were quite common on Buicks of the day. But now, people don't much care for them. Or through the years, I should say, people don't much care for them. So. Well, you say they're common on Buicks, and everybody knew you know, Buick kind of had a stigma of being an old man's car and the wire hubcaps. But to see them on a GS 455 Stage 1 car, I don't think I've ever seen it. Uh, I'm sure it's very rare, that combination alone. I'm yeah. sure it is. Unfortunately, we don't have numbers, but... Yeah, because most of them had the chrome road wheels. Yes, or just a standard wheel cover, because they were going to put something fun on it. <laughs> right on. Well, speaking of fun, um, this car is the 45 Stage 1, and it's a four-speed convertible. Yes. Uh, and it's got another option that makes it even more unique. Air conditioning. Almost unheard of on a Stage 1 four-speed car. Especially a convertible. Especially a convertible. Now, do we know how many stage convertibles there were or any numbers on production of these things? It's roughly 67 stage one four speed convertibles, and approximately 22 of those have air conditioning. 22. And looking at this thing, uh, it's a beautiful color combination. It is. The what? Diplomat Blue on the white is spectacular. And uh, tell me a little bit about what happened with this car at level one. Well, we got it in. It was started in restoration, but we just didn't feel that the quality we had was good enough, so it went right back down to metal. Um, it's an excellent body. Unbelievable. Minimal rust repair. Uh, it came with all of its essential pieces. You know, we got a parts car to get all the little trinkets and get all the right hardware and brackets and so forth. But essentially, it came to us as a complete car. Uh, did you guys do mechanical restoration, motor trains, that kind of stuff? Uh, engine engine was already rebuilt by the previous restoration shop, and it dynoed out just fine. Cool. Transmission was went through, rear end was gone, went through, just to verify that everything was okay. Now, these cars have some really special kind of hard to find parts that always broke, uh, like the plastic fan shroud yep. and, and that little cover over the radiator. Uh, did this car have those? Uh, it had remnants, <laughs> and uh, through other Buick guys, we were able to get pieces and parts to complete the upper shroud and, and piece several rough plastic ones back together. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about the rest of this thing as far as like brakes and, and other power options or things that it does or does not have. Power disc brakes, power steering, as you would expect on a Buick, but it's also power windows, which is nice on a convertible. Standard AM radio, which is kind of unusual. Does it have the 8-track? Nope. No 8-track, has the consoleette, which is really a neat piece. Oh, yeah, that shorty 4 The shorty console. console, yeah. And then the, the top and interior are white or parchment? It's called parchment. It's a pearl white and black combination. Okay. And when you guys were doing the resto, what was your part? Uh, I painted it and all of its related pieces. Um, and I helped track down pieces and parts. Now, the finish is phenomenal. What system do you guys use over there? This is DuPont Chroma Premier Base Clear. Very cool. Was there any challenge in getting the color? No, not really. No, uh, DuPont's got really excellent colors. They've got great metallics. We're very happy with them. What about the rest of the suspension, being a GS? Are we talking the upsize sway bar and spring and all that stuff? Yes, it has, it has a larger sway bar, but otherwise it's pretty much a stock Skylark suspension. It's nothing too terribly impressive. And this thing is a fresh resto. It's very fresh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Now tell me about your paint process on this because there is a metallic component to this color. Yes. Was this car painted apart or painted together or a combination? Completely in pieces. We we paint you know we painted the tub of it in one shot on a rotisserie. And then we shot the doors and deck lid in another shot, and then we do the front clip in a final shot. Any worries about color match? I always worry about it, but it seems to come out okay. <laughs> so more than okay. Well, I love it. You could cheat in this car. You could throw the top down on a hot day and turn the air on. <laughs> and, uh, you know, with the right tire on, it would still turn low, mid-13, second quarter miles all day long. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time and caring enough to do such a great job on it. Thank you, Kevin. Much appreciated. Thank you.